Hi, we've been at CES for two days now and we've seen lots of components, a few gadgets, but nothing that's really, really cool. But we have now. We've got Paul here from HCO and he's got a regular Samsung Galaxy S2 phone in his hand. So Paul, can I just grab it off you? It's a regular phone. I can confirm that it does work. You can see that. What Paul's going to do is something very, very silly. So just watch this for a second. Over to you, Paul. Absolutely. So let me take this phone and do something that's very counterintuitive to human beings. Let me take the back off, show you that the back is actually off, the phone is working, and let me, with that back off, drop that phone inside the water. Well, you've killed it now, haven't you? Yeah, well, you would think so, because you see the bubbles coming up, that means that yep. the water is surrounded by the electronics, but the phone is still operating. Okay, do tell. <laughs> so what HZO does is we create a nano coating that surrounds the electronic circuitry in the phone and the components and allows it to not be destroyed by water, even with the back off. So what's happening here? You've got a coating which you put on these phones from the manufacturer and it's completely water resistant. We can see that. Correct. But, but if I put my finger on it, I can't sense that there's something untoward going yeah. on here. No, that's exactly right. This is a completely transparent coating. Um, it is a very, very thin film. You can't detect it on the device. We only put it on the inside. We don't coat the outside, so it doesn't affect this, the uh, aesthetics of the phone whatsoever. Or any of the usage. So this works just like a normal S2. It is. It's, it's a normal S2. We can, do, we can uh, make the phone operate in any manner that we want. Yeah. It doesn't affect any of the functionality. Can you give us a bit more insight on the tech involved? It's a, uh, we, 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 we turn a chemistry into a gas and we introduce it into a chamber that is a vacuum chamber and we surround the electronics right. and, it, uh, and it attaches to the electronics and protects them. Right. So if I've got my iPhone, can I send it to you guys to get this done? Um, you know, we could do that, but we are so inundated right now with inquiries from consumer electronics manufacturers that we, uh, our business model is really to go to those manufacturers and build it into the next generation of of devices. And how much extra cost would this add to say a huge run of iPhones? Was it a few dollars? Is it tens of dollars? You know, each manufacturer will set their own pricing on that, so I can't even speak to that, but it's entirely affordable. It's not going to be uh, something that is out of the reach of the common buyer. Yeah. And have you got contracts in place right now for this kind of technology? We do. We yeah. do, and uh, I won't discuss who they are because we have confidentiality agreements in, with, in place with them, but we absolutely uh, have contracts. You'll start to see some of these products emerge next summer. Okay, brilliant. Can you just put it back in the water one more time? Just absolutely. To see this. Absolutely. So here we go. Back is off. Watch the bubbles come up, and we'll put this inside. You can see even I can hit the button underwater, whoops, and it still continues to operate. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks very much, Paul. Thanks for coming by. Yeah. And now you've seen something cool at the show.